All right, hi everybody, welcome to the channel. As you can probably tell, I my audio is not working in the video that you can see. <laughs> I recorded this whole video, thought everything was fine, got to the end and realized that uh, you cannot hear me at all. You can only hear the gameplay, so it's kind of a bummer. It is the, I think the third time I have tried to do this and there's always been one problem one way or the other, which is um, pretty disappointing, but I figured there is no point in me redoing this whole chapter for a fourth time when I know exactly what's gonna happen and my reactions are getting less and less uh, because I'm just trying to get through it. So, I just thought I'll do a voiceover for this episode and hopefully future episodes work out a little better. Oh god. I was so- look at me in this video, I am so- <laughs> I was so nervous and I had to redo the intro like five times and then it turned out that I wasn't gonna use a recording anyway, kind of a bummer. So, <laughs> I'm just looking at myself and that is- I just feel sad. <laughs> anyway. Let's get into the actual gameplay. Alright, Resident Evil 4. I love that noise. Yeah, I decided- I have played this before, and I, but I decided to go standard because I do remember it being a little difficult. I was quite young when I played it and I remember the controls were pretty clunky. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to click that. I was probably talking. <laughs> Here we go. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Resi 2, that's my out. favorite. Too many others. Maybe I'll play it on the We're channel, so okay? I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice training, punishing missions, nearly killed me, but at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time, it can be different. It has to. Poor Leon, <laughs> he must have so much trauma. So tell me, Yankee, why did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone <laughs> must be very important, huh? Yeah, she I hope they haven't played um, Help him, he said. a bit where we find Ashley yet, but I really hope away, she's not as irritating as she used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you did. You have a strange sense of humor. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here, and it's been that way for a while now. Well then, should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. I mean, last it's week so funny how bad these cops are at the job, and they're I'm just sure openly admitting to it. <laughs> oh, so many people around here go missing, and we have no idea why. It's hilarious. <laughs> has never watched a screen movie in his life. Nature calls, you can huh? say, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <sighs> yeah. 
that is just asking me for trouble. ¿Te has bebido el bar entero? You smoke? He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. Oh, watch the car. Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. <laughs> okay, now we are in the gameplay. And I'm sure a lot of you have watched or played yourselves the demo. And then um, chapter one is pretty much just the demo um, with a little, like, maybe extra 15 minutes. Oh, look at us. Checking Leon out from every angle. He looks good. He has aged a lot. <laughs> the trauma of uh, Resi 2 has truly aged Leon. I mean, it really does look beautiful, this game. They have um, done a great job. How far could he have gone? Oh, he's a, a gone, a goner, for sure. <laughs> Gross. Actually, I think at that point I said disgusting. <laughs> This bit kind of reminded me, well actually, Resi 8 kind of reminded me of this bit. I love how they all um, have their tropes. Stand up, sir. There we go. <laughs> Took me a while. I also filmed this very early in the morning. I woke up at like 5am I think to film it and get it out of the way. So now it's the afternoon of the same day to w basically watch myself be mutilated over and over again as Leon. Great. Anyone home? I sped through this bit pretty quickly if I remember correctly, only because it's the demo area and um, didn't really feel like I had to, you know, get all these people in the house. It doesn't affect the game really. And because it was a third time playing it and recording it, I was not in the mood. <laughs> Here we go, creepy fella. Sorry to barge in like this. My favorite thing about Leon is that he's so nonchalant. He's just like, this is normal. This guy's normal. Phenomenal kick attack. Very good. 
Right, this is when it, I guess, starts to get pretty chaotic, and the game never really lets up for me, if I remember correctly. <laughs> it only gets more wild. That's sort of what I remember about Resi 4, is that it really, it doesn't give you a lot of time to breathe. I think we're gonna go downstairs straight away. Super creepy, super disgusting. Undead. No fucking way. Get him, get him. Again. Get him again. Again. Nice. This just keeps getting worse. Oh, you have such a long way to go, Leon. We're just going to run past this altercation because um, there's nothing really in that room, so um, that is super important. So let's get moving. Green herb, thank you. It's kind of weird watching myself do this. Convenient that this was all here for us to find. <laughs> Bruce, this is Gondor One. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. I love the name Baby Eagle. That's Our a great name. Our intel correct. Then, well great done. Great code name. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. Oh, time to go. Gotta go. Talk later. Exit the building. I love this bit. I love myself <laughs> out. <laughs> Such an action star move. I really don't know if they were ever to make the Resident Evil movies. Well, I know they've done them a few times, but if they were to make them and be super accurate, I really do not know who would play Leon. Maybe drop your um, suggestions in the comments if you have any fan casts. Because they've never quite... they've never... They didn't really get him right, I don't think, in the movie, um, was it last year? The year before, the most recent one. And obviously the same characters aren't in the um, Miller Shoshevich movies in the early 2000s. Use them legs. We know how to do that. Don't 
Don't mind me just looking around all the time. <laughs> you gotta look for the loot, man. We'll not survive. Resident Evil without it. Oh, yeah, the puppy. If I remember, if I'm rem remembering right, at this point in the original, there's a dog in a cage, right? Or is that later in the game? I'm hoping they didn't just swap out that dog that you let out for a dead animal. <laughs> A dead version, that's so sad. Get the loot, get the loot. Despite having played through this bit like three times or three, four times in the last week, I'm really no smoother at it. <laughs> I've realized I'm watching this. Yeah, that is a steal. Come on, go again. Got him. Ugh, oh, the bloody pitchfork men. I really like the um, knife mechanics in this one. That you can sneak and you can finish them off with the knife. I really. That's really good. Because I remember in, um, especially in like R3, the remake with Jill, you just sort of slash at them for ages <laughs> until you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. I knew that, that has happened to me every single time I've played through this bit. The first recording I did I actually stepped in every single bear trap possible, I think. It was quite funny. Thankfully. Oh, um, there was no one around to me at the same time. Oh, we got him. There we go. Nope, he's still alive. <laughs> don't um, use flash grenades as much as I should in games. I don't uh, take advantage of them. But I will try during this playthrough. Because you do get... Um, you definitely get cornered a lot in this game and they would I'm sure be very useful. Alright, let's continue. Oh, here we go. There is a really funny part um, in this section that I'm quite excited to see. <laughs> and I think I have quite a funny reaction to it um, on the video, so I will pop my uh, video reaction in as well with no sound because <laughs> it really made me laugh. And from what I can tell, it's happened to basically everyone else who played through the demo. <laughs> okay, well, RIP, I guess. Alright, let's sneaky. Let's be a sneaky snake. I mean, it is good to have the option, the like mechanic of being able to sneak, but. I think it would take a, a hell of a long time to do this all sneaky, if that's even possible. I'm sure someone's done it on one of those like knife only runs. But I guess in um, Resident Evil you don't have the, oh this is quite, is this the one I'm thinking of that's quite funny? No. <laughs> that's, I shouldn't say it's funny to kill people. Um, no, I was going to say. I don't think you can lure people in Resident Evil, right? I've never tried it myself, because you don't really throw things. I think that this part I am contemplating trying to sneak as many people as possible, and then I realise that that's stupid, and would take way too long. So I just uh, decide to unleash hell. Oh, 
probably get a little bit closer. Here we go. Fight them off, and we do. Leon tries his best. Get him. Oh. You gotta be careful. It really never looks like the axe is going to hit you. <laughs> it does. Get her. This what I thought I was for sure gonna have to redo it and I would have been furious honestly. Oh god. <laughs> okay, we're quick. We got in a bit of a mess here, but it's okay. Um no, don't use any more health. That would be stupid. I think I'm looking for chicken eggs here. The chicken eggs are like Next. Oh, <laughs> next. Come on, Leon. Don't be ridiculous. And now we use Legs of Fury. Very good. Just dodge him. Dodge him. He literally just got shot in the eyeball and survived. This is not a normal place. Oh, here we go. It's so creepy. His eyes are so haunting. That is, ugh, that is so disturbing. Oh, get out of here, old lady. Friggin' pitchfork ladies. Oh, there's an egg. I missed it. Oh, see, look at that. Look at this. <laughs> look at this mess. <laughs> this is quite funny to look at. Okay. I don't know why we went this way. Dodged him. Got him. Keep it moving. Yeah, there we go. Use that egg. They give you like a really good amount of health, actually. Oh my god, in the shoulder. Just move. Just keep it going. <laughs> oh, he's coming. I think I just completely avoided interaction with Chainsaw Guy um, as much as I could. on me. I didn't notice that. <laughs> That's the part. <laughs> the cow not only attacked me, or tried to attack me, it was also on fire. That's how chaotic Resident Evil games are. The livestock is also trying to kill you. <laughs> He's gone. He's on his way. Let's go. Let's loot. Only Leon would make jokes in this situation. Let's grab the shoddy. It up. Don't 
know why, but in this part, in these parts, you feel a lot safer on the roof. Look at that, doing a bit of crafting. That's good. Ah, we made it. Made it through. I do remember the first time playing this as a teenager and just I was never I just felt like that part never ended and I really thought we had to kill everybody there and I was like thinking what an opening to a game here's <laughs> the iconic line that we all love Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> Very good. Very good. Although I do love that section, I gotta say, having played it so many times this week, I am so ready to move on to chapter two. <laughs> Copy that. And be careful. Roost out. Thank you, Roost. Hannigan. That's her name, right? Hannigan? And get everything. Okay, I think we start moving on now. Yeah. We are at the windmill. <clears throat> I um, saw that discussion on Twitter recently about Resident Evil. And I think it was sparked by the demo of this game. But about all the barrels and like things that you can uh, interact with being splashed with yellow. And that some people didn't really like that. But I, I don't know, I feel like Resident Evil leans, like as a franchise, has always lent into it is a game. They are not trying to be hyper-realistic. I mean, they literally have save rooms that are open, open doors, or, you know, they're not barricaded, and the enemy just will not follow you in there. <laughs> Damn it. Like, how believable do you need a game to be, really? Or how realistic. Um, and there are, you know, pretty good reasons why developers do things like that, whether it's the paint or making things shiny, um, you know, like in The Last of Us. Oh, those cows glitched out a little bit. And really, it makes sense. Um, and it doesn't bother me at all, it doesn't take away the experience of being a game. Um, because it is a game, and it has gaming mechanics. I mean, you literally have been stabbed with a pitchfork, and have an axe wound in our shoulder, and we are fine. So I don't know how realistic people really want games to be. <laughs> because that would be freaking brutal. Oh, this is a good kill. I don't know if I've seen this before. Is it now? When is it that we do this melee? Oh yeah. Oh, the bones cracking. Leon is such a savage. That's horrific. 
And like obviously she's an enemy. But she is an old lady. <laughs> What have we got over here? Another egg? You gotta get that chicken egg. They honestly heal you a lot, so worth getting. Yep, so the blue medallions. Um, we get through, we know where all those are, because obviously, like I said, we have played this bit before um, on other recordings that did not work. So I think we get those once we've um, been through the fight that um, begins promptly. Don't have that yet. You do get quite a lot of uh, loot in this, at least in this beginning bit, more than uh, I thought we would get. I was quite surprised. So I do make a mistake here of, oh no, we're just starting, a uh, mistake here of not opening that, um, not unlocking that door before I go in and get the cog, um, which you'll see in a minute. <laughs> it becomes a little bit chaotic. But again, Resident Evil wouldn't be Resident Evil without just utter, utter chaos. Get that. <laughs> the inching closer. Yeah, and then we have the yellow herbs. These are good. They, um, if you take them with other herbs, um, combine them, they, uh, what is it? Extend your max health, increase your max health, which is good. I think I'm just deliberating here. Um, on what to combine it with. And then I do that one, yeah. I'm trying to save all my green herbs for it when or if I find a yellow or red herb again. Just because the chicken eggs basically heal you the same as like two green herbs will, so. Or just a little bit less. Gotta fix everything myself. Yep. Bob the Builder. Let's go. Yeah, so this is my mistake. I don't jump down there yet. Which means I don't unlock the door. Which, uh, if you haven't seen anyone play this part, you'll see why momentarily I should have done that. <laughs> oh yeah, there is a lady in here. She's very mad at me. She's unhappy with what is happening. She wants to kill me. Oh, she took that like a champ. Like a champ. Absolute chaos. I can hear you down there, sir. It reminds me a little bit, if anyone is an American Horror Story fan, it reminds me of the um, bull guy in Coven. Here we go, look at this. Locked. Locked, you idiot. Get back. Uh oh. Can't jump through that window, you're an idiot. <laughs> Leon is a trooper, look at him go. He just got whacked with a hammer. Yeah, just use it. We've got um, better max health now, anyway. No, don't jump over there. It does feel like sometimes you're not in full control of Leon. But I suppose that uh, adds to the stress and the tension. 
Yeah, we're gonna use our grenade. Bye. He didn't just say the funny line that was disappointing. He usually says something else there. Like, enjoy this or some, something like that. <laughs> something really snarky and rude. Pretty sure I get attacked by another animal in a minute. Make sure you're looting at the same time. This guy's a beast. Look, he's, that didn't even take him out. So sorry, Leon. Intense bodily trauma is going on right now. That would have protein. Look, I do it again. <laughs> Try a locked door again. In distress. Come on, man. You can escape. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, he runs so quickly. He's massive and is wielding a huge hammer and it's just sprinting. He is a big boy. There we go, I think he's done now. And we got a velvet blue amethyst. I think it's, that's what it's called, right? A crystal, we'll say. I feel like they really improved this area in the remake because I do kind of remember it, the layout was a little bit different. Um, you know, can't get out there. Yeah, and this is when I remember that I need to jump down to open up um, that door and I Oh, look at that. See? Cow to Leon zero. <laughs> Why are they like this? It's such a funny addition. Like, you'd think it's so unnecessary. But it is hilarious. Would a cow really do this? I would assume that cow would just run away. Out of fear. I didn't think cows were <laughs> fighters. <laughs> I could see a pig attacking you. Um, if you were, you know, in its pen. But a cow? I thought a cow would just leave me alone. Look at it. Get out of here. Don't even start. everyone's favorite um, Resident Evil character like out of all the games I really love Jill and Leon probably I like Claire too um, but yeah I love Jill it's a shame that I mean I like Resident Evil 3 um, it's a shame it's not a bit longer it's quite a short game um, but I really like her as the main character. I wonder if they're ever going to do more with this, these sort of, the like, initial um, characters from the first few games. Because obviously we've just... End of um, Resident Evil 8. We've kind of got through that, um, that family storyline. So I mean, I am interested to see where they go next. And it'd be so cool to see more of these like legacy characters return. Maybe meet Rose or something. The Winters family, quite tragic, really. That's another one. Seven Biohazard is probably my second favorite. I absolutely love Biohazard. It was such a like fresh addition. 
and it was horrifying. I don't know if um, my favorite parts of the Resident Evil are really the lab parts, and I just liked the whole ship section. It was really fun in that game. If you haven't played it, I would highly recommend Biohazard. Um, okay, we done with our loot? I think so. Yeah, we haven't got that yet. I thought we would, I don't know when we were supposed to get that, but I kind of thought we would get it when we um, got all those medallions. Because the symbol is the same, or at least looks super similar. Ah well. ignore me opening and closing the inventory over and over again. <laughs> That's on bad memory. No idea what I'm picking up as I'm doing it. To the lake. I'm so, I haven't played it yet um, as of way. this recording. Um, I'm very interested to see how they've changed the lake part because I remember, gosh, not like dying so many times in that section so that'll be fun I'm sure I won't do any better but hopefully <laughs> the controls will be easier get out of the way sir I think we can just, can we just do a little backflip <laughs> little cartwheel out of there so dramatic I was waiting for that guy and knew he was coming. Get him, Leon. Take his kneecap off. lady. Just stay out of my business, please. Oh my god, she's horrifying. <laughs> oh my god. She really looks like the um, goblin out of Harry Potter. What's his name? The one, the one at Gringotts Bank. They're goblins, aren't they? I think so. <laughs> like, why is this area of I think are we actually supposed to be in the country Spain of Spain. But why is this area so like decrepit and horrible? What happened to you people? <laughs> it's the twentieth century. Oh, I think it's even it's the twenty first century now, yeah, right? Haha. <laughs> it happened to someone else and not me. Look at that bloody, uh, oh my god. Look at this absolutely terrible aim right now. I don't know why at this point I completely start to panic. But it's quite entertaining to watch, so. You get out of here. 
Uh oh. Got some undead guys. <laughs> oh, never not be funny. not run into a bear trap actually. It's just who I am. Yeah, let's have an egg. <laughs> let's crack an egg open. Look, that doesn't look like it's going to hit you, right? Am I crazy? It looks like it's going over your shoulder. Give me a break already. <laughs> I was about to say, this is our trap. Uh, oh, but that guy got stuck too. It's not just me. I'm not the only one who's stupid. I mean, these, these people set the bear traps and they're still running into them. So I give myself a little credit. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it, get out of here. Sometimes throwing a grenade is just... That's self-care, really. Just getting it over and done with. Very good, we got through it. Still haven't found another red herb to combine, so I think I just um, save them for a while. Got some more shotgun shells, very nice. Going to need them for sure. Look at me, I'm I'm contemplating. I can tell, I'm contemplating mixing those herbs together, but I don't think I'm desperate enough yet to do it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Look at, I'm looking for bear traps. Where are they? I know there's <laughs> I know there's another one somewhere. We got a collectible. And that's another thing, like the collectibles, that is another, that would only exist in a game. It, it's completely stupid that these are just everywhere. But it's fun. It's fun to get the collectibles. Alright, I think we can... Oh, we just need to go up there and get that box. Oh, of course, we've got some jackass. Ruining the vibe. He threw the dynamite about two meters in front of him. <laughs> You're an idiot. comes back. Why would he not come back? Ugh, the sound they make? This is squelchy. It's foul. Oh, we got him. Cool. Gotta get that ammo. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm watching the screen and I still can't see them. They are so well camouflaged. My stupid eyes. God. Get all the monies. Anything 
else to grab here. Let's keep going. Got another section here that we still can't go through. Capcom really like made a they have like a good um what would I call it? Like a good recipe. They're very they've got a good formula for these games. They're really perfect with it, I feel. The way that like coming back to old areas, it doesn't feel this the place. Um doesn't feel annoying, I suppose. As long as it's not through death. If it's through death, it is a bit annoying. <laughs> but I, I do enjoy in these games that there's sort of this central area that you return to. And it's different because you have more weapons or more keys or whatever. I'm guessing we need either a key or lockpick for those things. More ammo. Very good with the ammo. I wonder how many people- I have yet to see someone run into this one on a playthrough. Um, Gunpowder, thank you. What a beautiful and not creepy family portrait. Just not- not uh, unnerving at all. What's that noise? <laughs> <sighs> it's annoying that you can't really sneak up on this guy. He seems to notice you almost instantly. That's okay, we'll get him. We'll get him again. <laughs> Leon is just as disgusted as we are. We got a lot of money. I'm just stealing all these people's hard, hard earnings. I mean, look at them. They're living in absolute squalor. I mean, I suppose what need do they have for money? They're basically zombies at this point. Who do we have here? <laughs> that hurts, you know. It seemed like you really wanted to talk. <laughs> How observant, senor. Who would, now, uh, say, who would uh, say this? You got to smoke. You know those things. During an encounter like oh, this. Well, maybe just in time, then, huh? <clears throat> Villain reveal. Oh, Not this guy. Who are you? Stop right there! God, he is intimidating. Get off me, sir. Ugh, that is disgusting. Alright, so that is the end of chapter one. Let's have a look at, I think we look at the results now. I kind of like that it does this. I don't really remember it doing this, um, so I have to see if it's a new thing. But yeah, we finished in 44 minutes, which is good. I killed 33 enemies. Um, no idea how many there actually were, but 83.9% accuracy. I, I'm not mad about that, actually. <laughs> but it's probably because I've played it four times. Amazing. So we've saved and the next episode we will dive straight into chapter two. Um, that's going to be exciting because I really can't remember it at all. And I will have played it for the first time so hopefully my reactions are a little better. Uh, apologies again that this is a voiceover and not a video. I hope it was still a little bit entertaining. <laughs> I'm sure the next few episodes will be um, much better. But yeah, that is all for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. 
uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe if uh, you enjoyed it, and I will, well, next time you'll see me, so, <laughs> bye guys!